Banshee mode for everything boarding. These maneuvers could be dangerous if not operating the boat properly. Do so at your own risk. Make sure to always have boarding safety equipment, pleasure craft license on board, and always wear your PFD. Be conscious of those around you. Respect the shared water weight. Remember, never drink alcohol on boat. Always play safe on the water. What's up? It's Andy here from Banshee Boating. And today we're going to go over one of the most important things to do with basically any engine. It's your oil. And uh, if you didn't know this already, two-stroke engines, you actually mix the oil with the gas, and four-stroke engines, you actually have uh, the oil in a completely separate chamber called the crankcase, and the gas uh, burns separately in the pistons and all that. So today we're gonna talk about two-stroke oil specifically. So the older two-stroke boat motors, had a great reputation, run hard, um, run fast, and uh, just reek like two-stroke. Who doesn't love the smell of two-stroke? That's awesome, because I really love it. One of the ways to keep your own two-stroke motor healthy is to feed it the best type of nutrients, which would be a delicious, high quality two-stroke oil this even rude johnson two-stroke oil this is the name brand stuff this is the synthetic blend this is the only stuff i want to put in my engine so that it runs for a long time and it runs at the absolute top performance the entire time so you're gonna to want to get handy dandy gas oil mixing bottles and oil as the lifeblood of a two-stroke motor how many liters and um, how much oil to put in and the most important thing is mixing your oil perfectly uh, with the right amount of gas because the key to making sure your engine any engine actually four stroke or two stroke the key to making it last longer is to take care of it and obviously the blood of the engine is the oil. The oil keeps the engine lubricated properly. In a two-stroke motor, it mixes with the gas and the way the two-stroke motor is set up, it does everything the engine needs. Let's just say that. The gas and the oil is mixed together, which lubricates the cylinder that way. If you run too much oil, it's not going to burn properly and it's going to um, sludge up your engine. You run too little, it's not going to lubricate properly, it's going to heat up, things are going to wear down prematurely, uh, then you're going to be uh, into some serious problems. So don't blow up your engine. The absolute key to get the most out of your two cycle engine is to run name brand high performance synthetic blend oil, run the best oil you can in your engine whether it's a chainsaw whether it's a weed whacker whether it's uh, a boat motor right your boat that you care about so much and your old engine and the performance matters to you so put the best possible oil you can in your engine the best possible oil you can step two make sure your oil is mixed properly so I picked up my picked myself up one of these handy dandy oil mixture things and then I can properly mix the exact amount of oil for this engine, which is 50 to one. So you can see right there, 50 to one. And then you go down here to, you know, roughly 18 liters is what I usually put in. And uh, then I can fill it right up there with oil and it perfectly mixes it for me to 50 to one. And then my oil is gonna run perfectly. And what I always do is run premium gas. So it really cleans out the engine, runs at top octane performance. This is where we store the fuel in the Banshee MK2. Right under this flap here, we actually have enough space for a second fuel under there. So you actually have two complete fuel cells and uh, your second one can go right in there as well, completely out of the way and uh, completely convenient. Mm -hmm. 
th this engine wasn't designed for ethanol and all these other fuels. It was not designed for that, for running that stuff. It wants premium fuel in there, and that's what it was designed for. This engine is a 1982 Johnson four-cylinder V4, two-stroke, just badass, shreds, absolutely shreds. And the, the key to keeping this engine healthy for as long as possible is to mix the proper amount of oil, 50 to one to exact, exactly how much gas you put in, and you're gonna use the best oil possible. And uh, this, even Rude Johnson, it's a Johnson, so it just feels good to use an even Rude Johnson oil, synthetic blend, two cycle oil, to just keep this engine running at top performance. Now that we have the engine down, we wanna hook up our muffs so that we can run the engine when it's out of the water. Woo! Man, cheapo! 